Kathleen Sands today and I'm going to show you how to work with Pop-A-Doodle and we're going to be crocheting. First I'm going to start working with a size K which is a 10.5 or a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook and you have to work on the yarn that is between the pom-poms and it's about a two and a half inch gap. We're going to start with a slip knot slide your hook in there and then tighten it down making sure you have a pom-pom on each side. Now you'll get two chains in between each pom-pom. Make sure you do not pull the pom-poms through your loops. So we're going to hold on to this, pull a loop through, pull another one through. There's two chains. We'll go to the next one. One, two. Let's put two more on here. And I like, like I say, I like to use the, uh, the K hook because it makes the stitches easier for you to see. Now, let me show you what you're going to be looking for when you come back on your row. You can see here how it's making chains, and this is where you're actually going to be inserting your hook. Now, when I come back, I'm actually going to use a size I hook to work the piece, and it makes it nice and, and fluffy and soft, and it's very easy to work with. Now again, you can see where the stitches are here. And right here you can see where the chains go across. And what I'm going to do, holding the pom-pom, I'll put two chains on the end, and then I'm going to turn this piece. Now when you're crocheting, we're actually working in single crochet, and you can only get one stitch per strand of yarn between your pom-poms. So we're going to insert it in our first stitch right here, pull your loop through, finish off your stitch. Keeping that pom-pom to the back, you're going to go into your next one. There you go. See how easy this is to just very slowly and carefully work across, don't get into any rush, pulling your stitches through, making sure you're holding your pom-poms to the back. Now, another thing that might be easier for you to work on is if you want to take um, a similar color yarn that is, uh, matches what you're working with, and I've used a worsted weight yarn here, and again, I'm using my size I crochet hook, and you do your chain, and then attach your papa doodle to it, and I'll just pull that through, making sure I have this all the way down and then I'm going to immediately go into the second chain from where my hook is and I'm going to pull up a loop remember I said you can only get one stitch between your pom-poms and then finish that off then go into your next one holding that pom-pom to the back and then do your next stitch just make sure you do not pull those pom-poms through you may want to hold it and everyone's going to find their own comfort level as they're working with this there you go. And you can see here where your stitches are coming out once again. You see the chains and that's the stitch you have to work on. Now one last thing I'd like to show you. This actually works great for trim. And what we have here is I've got a hat and I'm going to work from the back side because the pom-poms actually go to the uh, back side when you're single crocheting. So when you're using it to attach as a trim, you're going to want to start from the, from the back. So we're going to go in here. Again, like I say, leave a couple of pom-poms so you can tie that off and weave it in. Put one little chain there. Now we're going to get one stitch per strand as we're going between the pom-poms and you're going to work across the rows or your stitches at the bottom. We're going to pull up a loop. There was one. And again, keeping your pom-poms to the back. And when we're finished, of course, it will be on the front side. Let me put a few more on here for you. And this is actually a lot of fun and you can see how easy it really is once you get going with this. And there we go and it makes a nice little pom-pom border. That's how much fun it is to work with Pop-a-Doodle. Pop